Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Henderson with Spartan Sports. In 1990, on the small dirt field of John Themis Memorial Stadium, 34 young men represented the football team for the Ecole Classique Spartans, the 10th ranked single A team in the state of Louisiana. Of these 34 men, 13 were seniors who all played true Iron Man style football, playing on both sides of the ball. These senior Spartan soldiers included number 89, Eric Richel. At 6'1 and 180 pounds, he was the starting offensive tight end with good hands and blocking skills. Eric was a special teams player and a defensive end. The Spartans will kick off after Ladner's touchdown. Number 50 for Gaines bobbles the ball. Number 84 falls on it. And number 89 for the Spartans, Eric Richel is there to make the stop. Great play by Richel and the Spartans special teams. Second down, Gaines on the Spartans 43. Eagles with a split backfield, tight end set to the right. Spartans in their traditional 3-4. Wood under center, takes the snap, play action to his right, rolls to his left now, sets up to pass, and is sacked for a loss of about four yards by the defensive end, number 89, Eric Richel. Nice play by Richel in the Spartans' defense. Number 64, Saar Fishman. At 6 feet and 200 pounds, he was the starting offensive left guard and special teams player with good blocking ability. With 1-11 left in the first quarter, it's the Spartans over the Eagles 12 to nothing. St. Pierre is set up to kick and puts it back deep. Number 21 for the Eagles will return the kick to the 15, to the 20, to the 25, to the 30, and is brought down at the 33-yard line by the offensive guard, number 64, Saar Fishman, better known as Fish among his teammates. I had a few moments to speak with Fish before the game, and he was telling me this crazy story about some new friends and his eyebrows. Very nice young man. Springfield looks like they'll attempt an onside kick. The Bulldogs have loaded up their left side. Number 35 comes in motion to the right and sets up. Number 15 kicks it. Short kick down the middle of the field. Big bounce. And number 64 for the Spartans. Fishman falls on it at about the 47-yard line. Smart play for the Fish and the Spartans special teams. The Spartans will now take over with excellent field position. Number 49, Zelko Franks. At 5'8 and 150 pounds, he was the starting defensive back and wide receiver with great skills to read the quarterback and quickly get to the ball. Gaines in the split backfield, Woods under center. Spartans in the 3-4, Freiberger jumps but sets back up. Woods snaps the ball, play action, setting up now, throwing and it's intercepted. Number 49, Zelko Franks coming up with the football. Great play by the Spartans and defensive back Franks. With no dragonfly in his helmet on his interception, Franks trots off the field with his helmet still on. And the Spartan offense will now take over. Rebels still in their own territory. Quarterback taking the snap, rolling right, pressure by Anderson, and here comes Brandt and Oofnack. Quarterback releasing it downfield, and it's broken up by number 49, Zelko Franks. Franks making an outstanding play, great hustle by this Spartan defense. With seven minutes left in the first quarter, it's the Spartans over the Bulldogs, 14 to nothing. Second down in Springfield deep in their own territory. Bulldogs tight end is lined up to the left. One lone setback, quarterback under center, taking the snap, faking the handoff to number 46. Rolling right, he'll throw it deep downfield. Open receiver, but it's incomplete as he was hit hard to break it up by number 49, Zelko Franks. That's an outstanding effort by Franks in the Spartans secondary. Number 62, Duke Allen. At 6 feet and 190 pounds, he was the starting right offensive guard. With excellent footwork, great for pulling and pass plays. Duke was also on special teams and even substituted as a tailback. The Spartans will kick it off to the Bulldogs after Tragel's touchdown. The kick is deep to the right. Looks like number 34 for Springfield will take it at his own 21. Running to his right to the 25. Cuts it up to the 30 and is brought down by the offensive guard, number 62, Duke Allen. Great play by Allen and the Spartan special teamers. Spartans have the ball with first and goal on the Bulldogs' three-yard line. Bulldogs in their goal line package. Uh-oh, seems to be some trickery by the Spartans with Tragel in at fullback and number 62, big offensive guard Duke Allen in at the tailback position. As they set up in the I formation, St. Pierre takes the snap and the give is to Allen to the right. Allen picks up about a yard before he is finally brought down. This really makes the game fun to watch, doesn't it? When the big men line up as if they are running backs and try to score. 
great decision by the Spartans coaching staff to let all these young men have a good time for all their hard work this season. Number 56, Chris Oofnack. At 5'10 and 190 pounds, commonly referred to as Oof by his teammates, he was the starting right defensive end who had exceptional outside containment and was quick to get to the quarterback. Oof was also an offensive guard and headhunter on the special teams. On second down, Ridgewood on the Spartans 25 yard line. The Spartans in their 3-4 defense, Hemel under center. Two split receivers, one man in the backfield. This might be a pass play. Hemel takes the snap, pumps, and is brought down by defensive end number 56, Chris Oofnack. Great play by Oof and the Spartans defense. First down for the Eagles in Spartan territory. Spartans look to be in their nickel package. Hemel under center for Ridgewood. The two backs in the split formation. Hemel taking the snap, deciding to keep it, and oh, what a costly mistake. He is stuffed again by defensive end number 56, Chris Oofnack. That's a great play by the Spartan defensive line, and that's Oof with his second sack of the night. After the Spartans' touchdown pass from St. Pierre to Bagnell, the Spartans will kick it off with just six seconds left in the first half. Number 32, Potter, for the Spartans, kicks it deep. Number 23 for Springfield, takes it in at the 30. Cuts to the 35, stops, changes direction at the 37. Back to the middle of the field, now to the far side, to the 40, to the 45, to the 50, and is drilled by number 56, defensive end Chris Oofnack at midfield. Wow, we've just nailed that return specialist for the Bulldogs, and I really think I might have heard that all the way up here in the broadcast booth. Excellent play by the Spartan special teams. Please stay tuned for the homecoming halftime show. Number 21, Philip Farrow. At 5'8 and 160 pounds, he was the starting cornerback with good vision, which made him a great open field tackler. He also played linebacker and was a headhunter on special teams. After Young's touchdown, the Spartans will kick off to Albany. Number 10, St. Pierre will be kicking off for the Spartans at their own 35. The kick is up to the left side of the field. Number 80 for Albany will pick it up at the 30-yard line, cutting to his left. And he'll be hit by Bagnell, spinning to his right, hit hard and brought down at the 34-yard line by cornerback number 21, Philip Farrow. That's a great play by the Spartans special teams. Albany on the Spartans' 35-yard line, tight end lined up on the left, backs in the L formation. Spartans in their 3-4 defense, Ledbetter taking the snap. Fakes the handoff to Sellers, the give is to number 31, and with nowhere to go, the Spartans' cornerback number 21, Farrow, tackles him for a two-yard loss. Great defensive effort by Farrow and the Spartans. The Spartans will kick off to the Eagles after Young's touchdown. Number 10, St. Pierre, kicks it deep. Number 9 receives the kick at the 15, takes it to the 20, cuts right to the 25, and is stopped right at the 30-yard line with a big hit by the cornerback, number 21, Philip Farrow. Excellent open field tackle by Farrow and the Spartans special teams. Number 44, Chris Chopin. At 5'8", 185 pounds with both speed and power, Chopin was a very versatile fullback, tailback, defensive end, linebacker, and receiver. Chop, as he was more commonly known amongst his teammates, had both great speed and size. After Ladner's fumble, Albany will take over on the Spartans 21. Ledbenner on her center, rolls right, trying to set up, looking to change direction, and is hit hard by number 44, Chris Chop Chopin, for a five-yard loss. Great play by Chop and the Spartan defense. Riverside on the Spartans' 40-yard line. The Rebels with one man in the backfield and two split receivers to the right. Spartans in the 3-4 package. Quarterback taking the snap, rolling right, looks for a receiver, and he'll be sacked by defensive end number 44, Chris Chopin, for a loss of six yards. Outstanding effort by Chop and the Spartan defense, as Freiberger congratulates him, and this will force the Rebels to punt. Spartans on their own 33, tight end to the right, Bulldogs in their 3-4 package. DeRoche and Chopin in the backfield, St. Pierre under center. St. Pierre takes the snap, give us to Chopin to the right, big hole between Allen and Anderson to the 35, Chopin to the 40, to the 45, to the 50, to the 45, to the 40, to the 35 with one man left to beat, but he'll be tripped up by number 45 of the Bulldogs. That's an excellent 37-yard gain by Chop and the Spartans offense. Number 68, Randy Brandt. 
At 5'10 and 235 pounds, he was a man-child and the youngest of the Spartan seniors, playing five of the Spartans' ten games at the young age of just 16. He was the starting defensive nose guard, also an offensive tackle and a special teams player. Albany, deep in Spartan territory, led better under center. Give us to Sellers. Sellers runs right, tries to cut back left, and he'll be pummeled by the big nose guard, number 68, Randy Brandt. Great play by Brand and the Spartan defense for not over-pursuing and tackling the running back for a loss of three. First down, Bulldogs on their own 39-yard line. Backs in an offset formation. Quarterback taking the snap, going to his right. Fakes the dive, cuts inside. Chopin gets a hand on him, and the big nose guard, number 68, Brand, takes him down from behind for a loss of one. Great hustle by the Spartan defense. With 2.16 left in the fourth quarter, the 10th-ranked Spartans will try to hold the 8th-ranked Rebels, who appear to be going for it, on fourth down with six yards to go. Riverside is in the A formation with three in the backfield. Number 10 takes the snap, rolls left, decides to keep it. Number 68 for the Spartans, Brandt, breaks through and spins him down for the loss with the help of Bagnell. Great play by the Spartans' defense as the offense will now take over with a little over two minutes left and down by just one point. Wow, that's great penetration by the Spartan defense. Number 69, Gordy Anderson. At 6'1", 230 pounds, he was a five-year veteran joining the varsity team in his eighth grade year. Gordy was the strong side tackle on both offense and defense. With his large frame and good speed, he was the key component in the Spartan diesel. Gaines on their own 40, backs in the split formation. Wood under center takes the snap, fakes the give to the tailback and looks to pass. Oh, number 69, big Gordy Anderson sacks him for a loss of 10 yards back to the 30-yard line. Excellent play by Anderson in the Spartan defense. The Spartans have the ball on the Springfield three-yard line. St. Pierre under center, backs in the eye formation. Tragel the fullback. Hold on a minute. Number 69, Big Gordy Anderson. Normally the right tackle is in at tailback. Looks like number 68, Brand has come in next to Allen to fill the spot at tackle. St. Pierre takes the snap. Give us to Anderson to the right. Huge hole, and Anderson, following Tragel, goes right between Allen and Brand for the touchdown. Spartans touchdown. Touchdown for the Spartans. A celebration by the Spartans' diesel offense takes place in the end zone, and you have to love it when a lineman scores. Great play by Anderson and the Spartan offense. Spartans on their own 48-yard line. Young and Trago are the split backs. Tight end set to the right. St. Pierre under center. Takes the snap, and the give us to Trago. To the right, to the 50, to the 45, and Trago is taken down at the Bulldog 43-yard line. Looks like number 75 for Springfield throws a late punch. Number 69, Spartan right tackle Anderson getting involved. And Spartan principal David Federico now will intervene and cart off Anderson. If you remember correctly, Trago was the lead blocker for Anderson's touchdown. I think Anderson appreciates that fact and wants to protect his fellow teammate. The official looks like he just ejected number 75 for the Bulldogs as assistant coaches Tap Bent and Eddie Bagnell, both of the 1982 Spartans football team in the blue striped shirts, are there to try and keep the peace between the teams. Number 77, Bobby Freiberger. At 6'4", 245 pounds, he was the other five-year veteran joining Anderson on the varsity team in eighth grade. Bobby played left offensive and defensive tackle and is remembered for his size and excellent downfield blocking. After the touchdown by Ladner, Spartans seem to be in the polecat formation for the extra point. Trago is the deep snapper, St. Pierre into kick. Trago options to Bagnell. Bagnell tries to advance forward. Fishman and Chopin set up to block, and here comes big number 77, Freiberger, pushing three people. But the Spartans come up just short of the two-point conversion. That was a good attempt by the Spartans, but just not enough to get it in. Albany pin deep in their own territory, sets up, tight end setting to the right. Spartans in their 3-4 defense with Breedoff and Bagnell as the linebackers. Albany's quarterback number seven, Ledbetter, takes the ball from center, handing it off to Sellers. Sellers is met by Bagnell and Chopin, and number 77, big Bobby Freiberger just pounded him at the end of the play. Outstanding play by the Spartans' defense.
Riverside with the ball on the Spartans 47 yard line. Quarterback under center, one long receiver to the right. Martinez in the backfield. Quarterback takes the snap. The give is to Martinez, who is stopped at the line of scrimmage by number 77, Big Bobby Freiberger. Great play by the big tackle Freiberger and the Spartans defense. Number 42, Chip Tragel. At 5'7 and 175 pounds, he was a one-man show who did it all. He was a fullback, tailback, linebacker, deep snapper, wide receiver, and kickoff return specialist. Chip was an excellent athlete with outstanding knowledge of the game. After Young's touchdown, the Spartans will be kicking off to Albany, number 10, St. Pierre, kicking the ball deep left into Albany territory. Number 80 for Albany takes the kick, runs left, and is stuck hard by number 42, Chip Trago. Great stop by Trago and the Spartans special teams. Spartans on Riverside's one-yard line with first and goal. Number four, Ladner under center. Young and Tragel in the split formation. Ladner taking the snap. Give us to Tragel on the right side. Tragel goes right behind Allen and right over Anderson. Touchdown, Spartans. As Freiberger helps up Anderson, the Spartans go up with six over the Rebels. Spartans on the Bulldog 15-yard line. Springfield in a goal line package. Spartans with Chopin and Tragel in a split backfield. Tight end set up to the right. St. Pierre under center takes the snap. Give to Tragel to the right. Huge lane between Allen and Anderson to the five. Touchdown Spartans. Tragel went in untouched thanks to the diesel. Great play by Tragel and the Spartans offense as the Anderson brothers congratulate Chip on a nice run. The Spartans add six points to the scoreboard. Number 10, Ron St. Pierre. At 5'8", 175 pounds, he was the young Cajun Cannon and one half of the set dubbed by the Times-Picayune, the dynamic duo. Ron was also a defensive back, wide receiver, field goal kicker, and kickoff return specialist. Spartans have the ball on Albany's seven-yard line. Number 10, St. Pierre under center. Tragel and Young offset in the backfield. St. Pierre takes the snap, fakes the dive to Young, follows his blocker, Freiberger, to the five, to the end zone. Touchdown, Spartans! Excellent blocking by the Spartans and a great seven-yard touchdown run with the quarterback keeper by St. Pierre. Third down, Ridgewood just in Spartan territory. He goes in the I formation, Hemel under center. Hemel takes the snap, sets up. Here comes the pressure, throws it down the middle. Intercepted by St. Pierre. St. Pierre back to the 20, to the 25, to the 30, to the 35, and is tackled close to the original line of scrimmage. Great execution by St. Pierre and the Spartans secondary. Spartans have the ball on their own 43. Tight end lined up to the left. Tragel and Young in the split backfield. Ladner on the center. Ladner takes the snap. Makes a lateral pass to his left to St. Pierre. St. Pierre takes a two-step drop and unloads it. He has a man open. That's number 81 bag now who catches it at the 15. The defender slips and it will be a touchdown for the Spartans. Wow, 57-yard strike by the offense with both quarterbacks throwing on the play. The Spartans add six more after a huge play by the offense as St. Pierre goes down to congratulate Bagnell on a great reception. Number three, Trey Young. At 5'10 and 175 pounds, he had exceptional size and speed, rushing over 1,591 yards and accumulating 16 touchdowns in just 10 games. He was the Times-Picayune Metro Player of the Week and the all-time rushing leader in Spartan history. Trey often credited his offensive line, known as the Spartan Diesel, with an average height of 6'1 and weight of 220 pounds for much of his success. Trey also played defensive cornerback and a receiver on special teams. 121 left in the first quarter. Spartans on the Eagles' 23-yard line. St. Pierre hikes the ball, hands off to Young. Young to the left side between Fishman and Brand. Huge hole to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Spartans! Great run by Young and the Spartan offense for the touchdown. Spartans on the Eagle three-yard line. Ladner under center, snapping the ball, giving it to Young. Young between Allen and Anderson. Touchdown, Spartans! Flag on the play. Seems to be on the defense. This play will stand. Great execution by Young and the Spartan offense. Spartans on their own 20. Bulldogs lined up in their 4-3 package. Tight end set to the left. Young and Trago in the split backfield. St. Pierre under center, taking the snap. Give us to Young to the left. Following a Freiberger block, he'll make one man miss to the 25. Cuts back right to the 30. He makes another miss to the 35. Now to the near sideline at the 40, to the 45, to the 50, and it's now a foot race. From the 50 to the 45, to the 40, to the 35, to the 30, to the 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Number 81 tries to tackle Young, but it's a little too late. Touchdown, Spartans. Touchdown, Spartans. Great 80-yard run by the tailback. 
Trey Young and the Spartan offense. Spartans have the ball on the Hornets six yard line, second and goal. Shreglin Young in the split backfield, tight end set to the left. Ladner under center taking the snap, rolls right. Ladner pitches on the action to Young to the 10, to the 5, and Young just rolls over four defenders for the score. My goodness, Young just barreled through four defenders to come away with six points. Outstanding job by Young in the Spartan offense. Spartans have the ball on their own 43, third down. Young and Trey going the split formation. St. Pierre is the wide out, Ladner under center, taking the snap, gives to Young to the right. Goes between Allen and Anderson, cuts right to the 45. Knocks the first defender right over, cuts left. Allen makes a great block, Young to the 50. Down to the 45, to the 40, to the 35. No one's going to catch him, it doesn't appear. To the 30, to the 25, to the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Spartans. St. Pierre and Trey go to return Springfield's punt for the Spartans. St. Pierre takes the punt at the 25, leads left, cuts back to the right to the 30, to the 35, to the 40. He'll finally be brought down at midfield. Looks like there's a scuffle back behind the line of scrimmage involving the Anderson brothers. Both benches now clearing. Pandemonium has just broken loose. Spartan head manager Scott Embley getting involved. And at the top of the screen, assistant coach Eddie Bagnell just tackled a Springfield player. There goes head coach Jay Momus, and here comes number 21, Spartan cornerback Farrell with, looks to be a helmet. Where did Farrell, who's in a leg brace, get a helmet? My goodness, I certainly don't see law enforcement in this young man's future. Looks like the coaches and officials are starting to clear things on the floor with three fights under the 1990 Spartans belt. It can easily be said that this small team of 34 young men doesn't take any flack from anyone. In 1990, the single-A 10th-ranked Spartans went undefeated in non-district play, but fell just one game short in their district, often referring to the end of their season because of an extra point, a penalty, and a field goal. Finishing the season with 3,359 yards in total offense, 335.9 yards per game, scoring 25.6 points per game, the Spartans finished with an impressive 7-3 record. The Spartans of 1990 may not have won the state championship, but it is one season. These 13 seniors from a small 10A high school will never, never, ever forget.